and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regney. I'm the principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. Tonight we have three fabulous women joining us. We have NSO violinists Jane Boyer Stewart and Jennifer Fritz Kim on the violin. They'll be playing duets together. And we have another fantastic Youth Fellowship Program student joining us. She's an alumna of the program. Bethlehem Adku is joining us on the viola. We will be with her in just a few minutes and find out what she's been up to since she graduated from high school and graduated from our Youth Fellowship Program. Hear all about her adventures. We're gonna kick things off though with Jane and with Fritz. They're gonna start off with a little bit of Bartok. Now, Bela Bartok was a Hungarian composer. He lived in the 20th century, and he was very fascinated by folk music. In fact, he used to travel the countryside with a very large tape recorder on his back, and he would go into villages and record the music that was being sung and played on many different instruments by the villagers. And then he would take that music and he would either use it verbatim in his own pieces of music, or he would use it sort of as a suggestion. He would imitate the style. And he wrote 44 duets for two violins. They're very short, but extremely descriptive and just really beautiful little nuggets of music. Jane and Fritz have chosen 11 of them to perform for you this evening. So let's head over to Jane and to Fritz right now for some Bartok.
Thank you, ladies. That was so wonderful. I can assure you those duets are as fun to play as they are to listen to. And um, I could listen to you guys all night. It was so great. Thank you so much. Um, we'll be back with Jane and Fritz a little bit later. But for now, I want to remind you, you can follow us on all of our platforms. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, and we are on YouTube. On Facebook, you can find us NSO Musicians. On Instagram, we are NSO underscore musicians. And of course, you can search for us on YouTube as well as NSO Musicians. We are always posting new content all the time. So please subscribe to us, follow us, like us if you would. That would be terrific. Thank you so much. We're going to head over now to one of our Youth Fellowship alumna. As I've been talking about all summer long, our Youth Fellowship program is for very, very talented high school uh, teenagers and students, and it's a very competitive program. They apply, and if they get in, they get to study with members of the National Symphony Orchestra. Not only do they study their solo instrument, but also chamber music as well. They get to observe the orchestra rehearsing and working together, and they sometimes get to sit in with us as well and play side by side with us, which is always great fun for everybody involved. All summer long and into the fall, we have had these young, talented musicians with us. Gosh, they're so inspiring, and they've just been such a joy to listen to and to talk to and get to know a little bit better. And joining us tonight, we have Bethlehem, Bethlehem Adgu joining us. She's a violist. She graduated a couple years ago. So we will meet up with her in just a minute. But right now, we want to talk to her teacher from the uh, Youth Fellowship Program, retired violist and just all around great guy. Please welcome Bill Foster to the show. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Great. How are you? Hi. Great. Great. Yeah. I got to tell Sorry, everybody, you, you were in the orchestra for 50 years. 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And you, you graduated. And then, um, yeah. And then, ago. yeah, well, al almost two years ago. And, you know, I was looking forward after 50 years of being able to sit out in the audience for the next 50 years and enjoy the orchestra. And then you all stopped playing. What happened? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> well, at least you can watch us through the computer. <laughs> I know. We I miss mean, you. But, you know, you're like you're like the father of the orchestra. We come to you for everything. We need history lesson of the orchestra. We need advice. You know, you're, you're our go to guy. And um and we should also mention you're the father of Dan Foster, who has been on this show many, many times. He is a, a repeat offender <laughs> on NSO at Home Live. So, um, but my, for, my former stand partner. Your former stand partner. Yeah, yeah. You taught him well. And you taught our next guest well as well. Um, Bethlehem is just, uh, she's such a joy. And you must have loved working with her. Oh, it was, it was great. It was fabulous. I said we could... We could have a two-part series to tell this whole story of her, her saga in music. But uh, yeah, she's a wonderful student, and she came to the program. Uh, she played in school from in grade school for several years, but had never had private lessons until she was in eighth grade, and you know, auditioned for the youth fellowship after about a year and a half of private lessons. Just amazing. And um, she was a she was a player, a viola player that had lots of problems. But one thing she from the very beginning, she just had a deep understanding of what music was all about. And the mm -hmm. more and more she learned how to really uh, express mm -hmm. that uh, with her viola, it, it's just it's just amazing. I'd sometimes make a musical suggestion to her, and and then she would do it right away. And I'd say, gosh, I, I wish I could do my, I could express my ideas as well as you do <laughs> with the instrument. It's wonderful. Yeah. 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 She's, she's yeah. speaking wisdom. <laughs> she mm -hmm. truly is. So, well, thank you so much for your work with her. I know she just adores you and, and misses you. Um, we're going to head over to Bethlehem right now and she's going to play some Bach for us. And everyone's going to be as wowed by her as as you are, as I am. She's just a really special person. So thank you, Bill, for all that you have done and continue to do for the NSO. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in the audience soon. <laughs> Great. And let's head over to Bethlehem. <laughs> Thank you. 
to see you you sound so beautiful okay so tell everyone where you're at school now you graduated a couple of years ago right yeah i'm at yeah. Juilliard now i'm a junior third year which is crazy uh, i don't know how that happened <laughs> yeah. you're not only a juilliard though you are a Kogner fellow you got a full ride and like all the bells and whistles too <laughs> yay yeah. very very blessed yeah, you deserve it. I mean, my gosh. And I, full disclosure, and I'm so excited about this. Bethlehem is studying at Juilliard with one of my oldest and dearest and bestest friends, Carol Rodlin. And when I met you first for the first time and I heard you play and I was wowed by you. And I remember coming to talk to you yeah, I remember. and you said, I really want to go to Juilliard and I really want to study with this woman, Carol Rodlin. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We used to walk to school together in the seventh grade. <laughs> yeah, I know she just loves working with you and just adores you, as we all do. It's so exciting. Yeah, I'm 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 so obsessed with her. She's she's such a great uh, role model in every way, and it's so like amazing to have a strong support system like her. And I just look up to her as a person, not only as a violist, but just always. And Mr. Foster was exactly the same way. I don't know. I've just been so lucky every time I get to study with the old teacher. They've always like just completely changed my whole life and had and I'm like just sewing their personality into myself and they're always a part of me everywhere I go. And it's just so magical that I have to that I get to have this kind of experience um, in this field. Yeah, well, you deserve it. And I cannot wait to see where you end up in a couple of years. <laughs> Maybe you'll end up with us. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you are so great, Bethlehem. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm, we're just all so proud of you and your success. And just we wish you all the best. Cannot wait to see where you go. You sound so beautiful. You look beautiful. You're doing great. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I don't know, all the best. I don't even know what else to say. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> oh, so if you've been enjoying these programs as much as I've been, um, maybe you'll consider a donation to the National Symphony Orchestra. You can do so by going to kennedy-center.org slash support NSO. Of course, any money that you choose to give is completely and 100% tax deductible. And it means the world to us right now during these uh, times where we've not been able to perform in front of a live um, audience. We are gonna head back now to Fritz and to Jane. They are gonna liven up the joint again with a little bit of Jean-Marie Leclerc. There's a violin sonata for two violins. Let's head back now to Fritz and Jane.
was smiling. I was dancing over here. <laughs> it was so great. We're going to be back with them in just a minute. But first, I want to remind you, we will be back next week, 7 p.m. And we have a quintet of NSO players. We've got assistant principal oboist Jamie Roberts. We've got clarinetist Paul Sagan. We've got associate concertmaster Ying Fu. We've got principal violist Dan Foster, and we've got bassist Alex Jacobson. They're going to be playing this incredible music for us on the day after Halloween, which I'm very excited about. And we are also going to be exploring a little bit more about the In Your Neighborhood program. This is such a great program that is such a big vital part of the NSO, especially right now. And we are going to be uh, bringing on so three members of the NSO who played a little concert, and we're going to show a video from that and talk a little bit about what they did for In Your Neighborhood. So that's next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Please join us for that. Let's head back to Fritz and Jane. We've got two more pieces of music from these fabulous women. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys are so fabulous. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. Wow, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm just, I'm having the best time over here listening, and it's just it's so great to see you both. and and just equally great to hear you both. Um, I know you're gonna end the night with a little Mozart, and I think this is especially fitting because you are both opera lovers, and you're gonna be playing an aria from the Magic Flute, right? Yes, playing, not singing. Yes, okay, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, and so Jane, I know you love opera. You're always reading books about, I always see you reading books about opera and listening to opera. And then Fritz, you joined, you used to be on the other end of the Kennedy Center, right? That's right. Yeah, you were in the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. How many years were you over there? Oh, there were three years. Three years, and then you came over to us. <laughs> so I know that you love opera too, because you're always, you, you're always like geeking out when we play opera, you're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to sneak into there after our concerts ended so I can watch the third act. Yeah. Thursdays, if we ended around nine o'clock, they would be on their second intermission. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I can still hear the ending. <laughs> yeah. Benefits of working in the building. <laughs> well, I want to thank you both so much for this evening. It was just, you're so great. I know you have to switch your um, mic over before you play the Mozart. So I'll let you do that. And while you're doing that, I want to thank you both. You just, it's been so beautiful and so exciting. And I just, I'm in the best mood now. <laughs> Um, and they're not only going to play this aria from the Magic Flute, but they're also going to end with the Turkish Rondo, which I'm sure all of you will recognize as soon as you hear it. So let's head back to end the evening out with uh, Fritz and with Jane for some wonderful Mozart.
fire extinguisher to burn it up the place. <laughs> so great. Wow. This has been such a fun program. I am just so grateful to Jane and to Fritz and to Bethlehem for coming on tonight and just being so wonderful. <laughs> it's just fabulous. What a great evening. Um, okay. First things first. Um, we're going to be back next week, Sunday, 7 p.m., with a quintet of NSOers. We've got Jamie Roberts, we've got Paul Saigon, Ying Fu, Dan Foster, and Alex Jacobson, plus a little video from In Your Neighborhood that we're going to share with you. Um, if you care to donate, you can do so by going to kennedy-center.org slash support NSO. And any money that you care to give, of course, is 100% tax deductible. So perhaps you'll consider that. Um, that is it for us for tonight. What a great show. I'm so, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> thank you all for joining us. Of course, I want to thank our producers, Bob Reardon, Jamie Roberts, and Dave Murray. I want to thank Thomas Baker for his beautiful artwork that you see at the beginning of the show. I want to thank uh, Sophie Edwards for setting up everything on this end, the cables, the lights, the cameras, the microphones, everything that goes into it. And of course, thanks to all of you for joining us week in and week out and for all of your support and enthusiasm in what we're doing. Have a great week, stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope to see you next Sunday. <laughs>